This video tutorial will show you how to add, edit, or archive staff members from a staff member list. The first step is to make sure that you are on the ektron.pgcps.org slash your school site and you are logged in to the site. You should see gray access points while you are logged in. Make sure you're on your faculty or staff page. On your faculty or staff page, you should see a gray access point. Roll over that access point and you can add a staff member by clicking on add staff member or add content or add item. So roll over that add staff member. We suggest you name the content, the last name, then the first name of the staff member you are adding to your staff list. And they repeat their first and last name here. Fill out any information you wish to be on your website. Select the department or class. Select if they're a classroom teacher or other positions. Courses taught, whatever you like to appear on your staff list or already appears on it. When you're finished, you click Publish. That will add the staff member to the list. And you see the one I just added, John Smith. The faculty page has refreshed, and now he is on the staff list. If you wish to edit a staff member, roll over the gray dot again and click Properties. This puts you into the Work Area folder of faculty for your school. Click on whichever staff member you would like to edit and click edit. And that brings up your editing window. And here you can make the changes like putting first names in, phone numbers, emails, whatever you need to change on this, or even whatever class or teaching. And then click publish when you are finished. And that has edited this page. Now, if you wish to remove one of the staff members that are no longer at your school, Roll over the gray dot again, click Properties. Again, you'll see the list of your staff members. Select the one you want to archive out, which means to remove it from the list. Edit that staff member's content. Click the Schedule tab, and that brings up this little start and end date. We're going to end the content by clicking on the Select Date and Time next to End Date a little pop-up window appears. You click on Done because we're going to archive it right now, right away. Archive and Remove, which is to expire it, will make it unavailable to the public. And then click Publish. And now our teacher we just added is now removed from the website. If I click on this faculty page here and refresh it, you will see that John Smith is no longer in this list. And that's all there is to it.